Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial and today we're going to be looking at stamina depletion. Now stamina depletion is basically a system that we're going to be implementing into your game where you can have cooldown for sprinting so basically the player isn't sprinting every single frame so that they have to wait a certain amount of time until they can sprint again or until they gain a certain amount of uh, stamina again so they can sprint. So the first thing I've done to get a setup for this is I created a little 32 by 32 player sprite and it's just painted red it's just for the basis of the tutorial I'm sure you guys already have your own character sprites I've also made a front stamina and a back stamina so we're basically using kind of like a kind of health bar to show that the stamina system is actually working now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an object and we're going to call the object obj underscore player and we're going to assign the sprite and add a create event and in the create event we're going to type move speed to 1.8 and we're going to do walk speed to 1.8 and we're going to do sprint speed to 5. Now the reason 5 is so high is basis is, is not the basis, it's on the basis for the tutorial. So I can basically show you guys that the sprinting system is working, that it's really fast. And we're also going to do global.stamina um, is equal to 100 and global.stamina max is equal to 100 as well. And then we're going to move on to the step event because we've done everything we need to do in the create event. Move on to step event. We're basically going to set up some of these uh, variables. If you guys watched my last tutorial, you know that I set up some key variables. So we're going to set up key left, right, up and down and key sprint. So we're going to have them equal. I'm just going to quickly set them all up. So we're going to have keyboard, keyboard underscore check. We're going to do ORD, um, and then I'm just going to do, for left, it would be A, and then I'm going to copy this, paste it, paste it, paste it, and then this one we're going to paste it, but we're going to get rid of the ORD, and we're going to do VK underscore shift, or L shift, so for left shift, so right would be D, up would be W and down would be S. So now we have all the keys set up and then we're going to go to if, if, key up. And we're going to do Y minus, minus equals move. Uh, we don't need to put that in. We can just do move, move speed. So that is that one done. And now we can just manipulate this one. Paste it four times. And now make sure you make sure to change these. Make sure you make sure to change these. So we'll do key up, key down, and then this one is going to be key right, and then this one is going to be key left. So then we have y minus equals y plus equals x plus equals. So we're moving right along the x-axis, and then x minus equals. So we're moving back along the left of the axis. So now if we create a room and we make it maybe 12a by 720 go to the background change it to white uh, there we go and then we're going to place our player into the instances layer not the background run the game we should have a player that can move around if i press w a s and d so that's basically a player but now we want to make him sprint and have a stamina system so you can move around the map faster and get around your game so we're going to go back to the player event reopen the step and we're going to type in if key, key sprint and global dot stamina is more than zero so it's not so we can only use we can only sprint if we have enough stamina we do global dot stamina minus equals one now of course you can change this number to how fast you want the stamina to go down so then move speed is going to equal sprint speed so we're basically going to be moving a lot faster and then we're going to do close it and then do else and then move else move speed is going to be equal to walk speed now i know walk speed isn't needed you could just type 1.8 again but we're using variables basically to teach you guys how to continuously use variables and these are local ones which are super useful as they only work with the assigned object the global ones are with any object but local only work inside this object which is pretty awesome now next we're going to do if not uh, key sprint so if we're not using the sprint key which is left shift 
global.stamina plus equals 0 0.35. Now I just chosen 0 0.35, so it's a little bit slower to gain than it is to take away because that's how stamina systems usually work. But of course you can change this number to anything you want. You can even make it a, a local variable and assign that in the create event if you want it to. Uh, but after that, we're gonna do if global.stamina is more than 100, we're gonna make global.stamina equal 100. So we're not going over the max and we're gonna do if global.stamina dot stamina is lower than zero, it is global.stamina is gonna equal zero. So we're basically not going over the limit to make sure that we have in between zero and 100 stamina and no more excess. So that is everything for this one now and then we're gonna create a HUD event, HUD event, HUD object. So we're gonna do obj underscore HUD and we're gonna do add event and we're gonna do a draw GUI, not a draw, we're gonna do a draw GUI. And in the draw GUI we're gonna do if instance underscore exists we're going to do obj underscore player. So if the obj underscore player exists, draw underscore sprite, and we're going to do spr underscore back stamina, comma one, comma eight. So it's the sub image. There's only one sub image, so it would be that. And then eight off the x and eight off the y axis. And then we're going to do draw underscore sprite underscore external, spr underscore front stamina, and then do comma one, comma. So again, the first sub image a off the x a off the y and we do another comma to indent it max zero and then global dot stamina slash global dot dot stamina max now it's not necessary to do all these steps guys if you don't want a health bar simulating uh, kind of like stamina bar but that is what i'm doing basically to show you guys that it works properly so with all of that done if we put obj underscore hud into the room and launch the game. It should all work perfectly. Oh, we have an unexpected in the HUD event here. Ah, I meant to close it, there we go. So now that that's closed, we will launch the game again. Here we do, we have our dude walking around really slowly if we press shift, he sprints, and then when it hits zero, and I'm still holding shift, nothing happens, but when I let go of shift, it starts recharging slowly. So our stamina system is coming back, and then if we do it again, Lego halfway, it starts charging again. So you can kind of do it in short bursts. If that's how you guys want to play your game, or if you just want to let the whole thing run out, and then you have to charge all the way back up slowly. By the way guys, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, make sure to go and leave a like, and again, comment anything down below that you guys want to see me cover, if there's any things that you're not sure how to do in Game Maker, I'll try my best to make a tutorial on it. But again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.